Hi! Today we will discuss IMD NPUs. As you already know, a lot of vendors installing them in their CPU today. Intel, Qualcomm, IMD. Everyone hears that Windows Copilot uses them and so on. Usually on this channel I compare in NPU chips for edge devices from different vendors. Something like this. But it's difficult to draw a line between like completely edge and some big devices that used by Grok or by Tesla. Rock chip, Halo, where is the difference between Halo and Jetson, difference between Jetsons and AMD and Intels. In my opinion, it's correct to classify AMD as edge device. Their price is comparable to Jetsons, and Jetsons are edge device, so why not? But I will test all today tests on my wife laptop. She recently got a new one. This video is not a complete guide of using IMD NPU. I'm trying to basically show you how you can utilize it, what documentation there is, difference of this documentation with existing platforms, and of course showing small example how to use it. If it's interesting, please write in the comments questions that you have. So let's start from general description of the framework. This framework uh, reminds me Hala a lot. If you previously worked with Hala, probably you will have a lot of flashbacks. It's very similar logic, quantization, a lot of approaches to this quantization, and good documentation. Clear, pretty small. There are three groups of this documentation, like the first one it's about NPU and the general usage like minimal example. The second one it's a big documentation on quantization, because there are a lot of ways to prepare and quantize your model. And of course there is a GitHub where you can take some samples and look on some Jupyter Notebook examples. Speaking of advantages of this platform. As I already mentioned, good documentation, a lot of approaches to quantization, maybe it's even more than Halo has, and it's like a good approaches like add around, add a quant, uh, quantization aware training, uh, mixed precision quantization. I didn't test them all, I used just basic approach, but of course it's like an interesting topic about which approach is best for which model, how to quantize models, and so on. What I want to mention is that there are a lot of instruments to do this. There are a few different frameworks for inference your models and to prepare your models. The basic framework, of course, it's on an extra time, but also all the source codes, they can work with PyTorch di directly. And also there is uh, some connection with Llama CPP. Let's mention a few comps. First of all, quantization is required for NPU usage. Not many functions are supported, but it's a lot of them. Next minus, there is no big community as far as I can see this, like, it's pretty small amount of stars on GitHub. I couldn't find, like, some forums with uh, a lot of issues. So, but at least people, of course, using this, and it's a good sign. There is no model zoo. Actually, there is one, but amount of models pretty small. I couldn't find, like, some approach, optimal approach to quantize them and to prepare them. I think it's better to have like model zoo with some samples, but it's definitely minus. The next minus, it's more like production one. Uh, these devices, they are not cheapest. They compatible with Jetson, but definitely it's not on the lower one where you can find like NXP, Rogue chips, Tejas instruments and others. So it's more like 
higher price, but of course, like performance is also compatible with Jetsons. And the final minus, it looks like the modern VLMs are not supported on NPU yet. There is some list of LLMs that are workable, which is super nice. And I hope that in the future they will support some VLM models. Let's quickly go through the model export. First, you export to OINNX. Also, it's possible to export your model to PyTorch, but I haven't tested it. But when you have OINNX model, you just can put this model in their pipeline where you can like selecting all your quantization. The second step, of course, it's quantization. Here is like the sample of the simplest pipeline. Most code here is just data preparation. It's just loading images and rescaling them. And all quantization is just here. Here it's like the config file which is used. And here you can check what is inside this file. As I mentioned, I use the simplest approach to quantization. And here you can find a sample of the inference of this board. Here is some initialization process. I just copied it from official documentation. Uh, here it is as well. What is important in it from the initial documentation I copy, there was this strange line, but with this line, nothing worked. So pretty important, probably just remove this line if you copied it from the same part. But I checked different samples and for different samples here, there was just only this line. Okay, here we initialize just the regular on an extra time with our model. What is important, we should provide like providers and provider options. Provider should be this Witis AI execution provider, but to activate this, we need all these environment variables. So after this stuff set it up, all other inference basically the same as it for any on mix runtime model. Now let's talk about the speed. I quantized just several networks to benchmark, but it's quite nice that you I have some limitation for this. Here you can see all the speeds and testing condition. Also, as you can see, NPU is faster than CPU for a lot of these networks, but of course, like it's not possible to export on NPU any random network. And mostly it's because of quantization and some other stuff, of course. So what are my conclusions? These are really good infrastructure. It's super small on the first glance, but when you start going deeper, you have solution for a lot of cases. I expect that it can compare with Jetsons and with Hail. In my opinion, right now, it's not the cheapest solution for a lot of places, and it doesn't support all modern networks. For example, for Jetson, you can somehow, but you can start accelerated even super modern neural networks. But definitely AMD is working on this. Definitely like they stand pretty close to today research. And I like this a lot. There are few open questions that I didn't test it. Like all these quantization approaches, mixed strategy, uh, approach to quantization, because sometimes with this mixed strategy, you can infer part time of network on NPU and part time uh, partially outside. I didn't test this. I didn't try to quantize LLMs myself and measure some accuracy after this. So 
In my opinion, it's most important problem. I have checked, but the basic pipeline is working super simple. And in my opinion, it's the main goal of this platform. So thank you for watching. Bye until the next video.